Hello everyone. In previous videos, uh, I talked about the graph API and how we can call the graph API method. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, for calling graph API, we need to have an access token from Microsoft Identity Platform. Uh, and uh, we created a PowerShell script to acquire that uh, access token from Identity Platform. In this video, I want to show you how to use that access token and call a graph API method to read a user profile. Uh, uh, first of all, let's just go to Azure portal and create an app registration for our PowerShell script. As I've explained this in previous videos, I'll just quickly go through that. If you want to have more details, feel free to have a look at other videos. Uh, just create an app registration, copy tenant ID, go to our script, paste it here, make client ID as well, paste that here. Need to create secret for that. Secret one, like that. Copy secret value and paste it here. Now if I run my script, you should see the access token on the PowerShell window. So you need to run your PowerShell window as administrator and uh, you need to use connect AZ account command to connect to your Azure subscription and then you are able to run the uh, command. As you see, we've got the access token here. Uh, let's continue and write the rest of the script to call Graph API for reading a user profile. Before that, let's go to the Microsoft documentation for uh, getting a user. If you look at the documentation, the first important part is the permissions. Uh, it tells us what permission we need to add to our app registration. So because we are using a PowerShell script, uh, it would be the same for a SPA application, a mobile application, or a web application. We need to look at the application section. And uh, the permissions are written here from least to most privileged. So based on your use case, find the best permission for your uh, use case and add it to your app registration. So for our use case, I'm going to use user read all. So we come back to the Azure portal and app registration. We go to the API permission. Click on add permission. Microsoft Graph. And make sure you uh, choose application permission, not delegated permission. Delegated permission won't work. Type user here. Go to the user section. Click user read all. Click on add permission. It's added. And we need to grant admin consent for this permission as well. So click on grant admin. Consent and on yes. Perfect, it's granted now. Now come back to the documentation again. The next part it says uh, we need to have a get request and the URL is slash user the slash user principal name or UPN and in the headers we need to provide authorization which is our bearer token and uh, the content type should be application JSON you shouldn't provide anybody and in response you will have a JSON like this okay Let's just start writing our script. So up to this point, we've got the access token. What we need to do is calling 
uh, RESTful API. So use in request method and then method is a get method URI we copy that from here and for the UPN just variable for now here I define that variable the MTS string I'll come back to this later next thing that we need to put here is uh, the headers so headers let's create a variable for that headers coil and according to documentation we need to provide authorization authorization here and then error space and then the token variable so we pass it here next parameter is content type and as it mentioned here it should be application json ID and obviously we need to store the API response method in a variable and then instead of printing a token we can print uh, display name well in user dot display name and given name color uh, user dot given so we want to print display name and given name for this user okay but we need a user principal name so if we go back to the azure portal and if you go to your uh, users screen in azure portal uh, you can grab a user principal name from here it doesn't matter which one but i've got a user here and i want to copy that user principal name and put it here in the script save the script and should be good to run that on the screen i run the script now here we go we've got the display name and given name for this upn display name is data gateway and given name is ali uh, just one more time to put it in nutshell uh, for calling graph api uh, you need an access token uh, you can create an app registration and uh, add a relevant permission to that app registration first and then use a powershell script for example for acquiring an access token from identity platform then you can pass that access token to a graph api and do lots of things on azure side one of the things that you can do is reading a user profile the we went through that in this uh, video uh, i'll show you uh, more graph api usage in the uh, future videos thanks for watching and bye